These are the top 24 plays of Kobe Bryant's career. This man played with a broken finger and won a championship. Oh! Goes to work. Bryant the drive. I play games with the flu. I play games with 102 degree fever, man. And at number 24, Kobe hit one of the craziest dunks in NBA history. Leading score. They need some help. Long run out by Kobe Bryant. He has to oh, what I just see. Man, the dunk was clean, but his 23rd best play was disgusting. My man Kobe was nuts, and if you didn't watch your back, he'd hit you with plays like number 22. That's 15. Now Yao, did he walk? He's blocked away by Kobe from behind. I'm glad they didn't blow the whistle. Kobe just blocked Yao Ming. Uh, that dude's like 12 foot two. But look, the man stayed doing the impossible, and he showed that to the Miami Heat at number 21. Wade is guarding Bryant. Artest looking, gets it to Bryant. Brian Dribble has to put it up at the buzzer. Banks it in! <laughs> he banks in the three! And the Lakers win the game! Damn, Kobe had weighed in his feelings, but that's just what he did. Because in number 20, Kobe embarrassed the Warriors with the flashiest assist I've ever seen. At 95 90 juice. Behind his back, on a spin. Oh, and the slam! He'll go to the line. Look at the play. The crowd was on their feet. Look at that one behind the back to spin. Nice play. And then the three point opportunity coming to Roni Turiyak. <laughs> Kobe, show me some footwork. Ooh, who said Kobe couldn't pass? I mean, in his 19th best play, he literally passed to himself. Kobe, find his space on Kirilenko. And scooping, driving, and putting it in. That's not even fair. But what Kobe did in number 18 should be illegal. Oh. <laughs> Over the glass, Kobe! Give me a break! Welcome to the circus! Damn, Kobe could score from anywhere. That's scary. But number 17 is freaky, because Kobe proved to the entire world he ain't afraid of anything. I think there's very few guys that can play both hard and smart. See, I mean, why are they running into each other? Why is Matt Barnes doing that? It doesn't make any sense to me. Unless he thinks he can entice Kobe Bryant to get thrown out. <laughs> and he fakes the ball. I mean, you're not going to get into the head of Kobe Bryant. Yeah, Kobe didn't even flinch. This dude was unshakable. And Kyrie Irving learned that the hard way in number 16. Kobe now to the floor, 7 of 14. Kyrie against Bryant, who takes on the challenge. See if Kyrie does as well. Crowd anticipating a little one-on-one -on -one action. Behind the back, couldn't shake him. Bryant still an all-world defender, and he blocked it! Man, nobody can handle the Black Mamba, especially not LeBron. Because in number 15, Kobe took that man to school. Out. Kobe and James. With a dazzling array of moves. Uh, well, Judge, I got beat in the post. Well, how did you get beat? Well, here's Exhibit A. <laughs> Damn, Kobe was unguardable. Like, for number 14, he hit a game winner over not one, but two defenders. A one point game. Walton can tip it. Bryant with the save. Oh, you gotta get a shot here. Final seconds. Bryant for the win. <laughs> Kobe's just too quick with it. And no one knows that better than Allen Iverson, number 13. Because one second he was guarding Kobe, and then the next, that man was gone. Can you believe it? That was as good as it gets. Jesus, Kobe jumped out of the arena. But in his 12th best play, Kobe jumped over a mountain. For LA. Ugh, he 
gave that man a facial. But Yao's not alone, cause in number 11, Kobe shot it all in MJ's face. Kobe Bryant is guarded by Michael Jordan, and a pull away by Kobe Bryant. That's the future, and even Michael Jordan will tell you that Kobe Bryant, the future of the NBA, you're looking at the present and the future. You got two goats hooping, man. That's just beautiful. But all right, dog, it's top 10 time, so we gotta talk about the most savage moment of Kobe's career. See, back in 2013, during a game against the Warriors, Kobe was leading the Lakers to a comeback. By the fourth quarter, they were only down two, when all of a sudden, something terrible happened. Bryant again, going to work, falls down. Again, he's struggling. He's gonna stay down there for a bit. Trying to massage that left ankle a little bit. At that moment, Kobe was fouled and had torn his Achilles. He was struggling to just stand up, but instead of giving in to the pain, he got up and did something legendary. Play with the pain. Yeah, I mean, he's not even uh, really bending that foot as he walks. But he's going to shoot the free throws. As he could barely make it to the free throw line. Bryant tonight with 32 points, five rebounds, four assists, and he is hurting. But the Lakers down by two, and they want him and need him at the free throw line. Got it. He gets to the other end before a foul. Man. Made him. Lakers might foul. They might foul to get him out of the game. That's they have to. Do. Yeah. Damn. That right there is the definition of Mamba mentality. And luckily, Kobe was able to recover and keep playing, which gave us moments like number nine, the time Kobe hit a three-pointer with his offhand. Remember, Mike Krzyzewski was going to be the guy. It could have been his job. Yeah, pass on it. Here goes Kobe. Kobe's able to pull one in. The shot clock expires. Oof, even Mark Cuban was feeling that, and Dwight Howard definitely felt number eight, because Kobe dunked on him so hard, it gave the man nightmares. Kobe, uh, he dunked on me. Ah. That's when I realized I was still a rookie. He came down the lane and dunked it so hard, and it was just like, boom! And I don't remember hearing nothing else but boom, and then I heard, oh, wow. Against uh, the Lakers because of this man, Kobe Bryant, can take over. Kobe with a spectacular turn. The whole crowd was in awe, and, and I was like, man, I just got dunked on. This man Kobe's out here dunking on everyone. But that's just what you'd expect, because his seventh best play made him the youngest player ever to win the dunk contest. Will dunk and then so will the other two. Then they'll do it one more time. Oh, oh. between the legs! Kobe yes. Bryant! Look at him. Yes. Check him out. Check him out. <laughs> Check him out. It is the 1997 Slam Dunk Champion. I swear, this man Kobe could literally do it all. But in number six, there was one player who disagreed. This is Reuben Patterson. And in 2002, this dude was running around calling himself the Kobe Stopper. Yeah, the man was asking for it, and in 2004, he got exactly what he deserved. Because in a game against the Lakers, Ruben got matched up with Kobe, and that is when this happened. Peyton Bryant out top against Patterson. Kobe cannot get Patterson in the air. A wild three! He hit it! No, I've told you before, this is not the guy you want to let shoot the shot in this building. It seemed to be home for him. And with one, one left, Kobe Bryant ties the ball game up as only Kobe Bryant can do. Yeah, Kobe shot it right over Ruben's head and sent the game into overtime, where the Black Mamba went for the kill. Payton to inbound. Bryant for three. Yes! 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 At the buzzer, he does it! It's the river of doubt! Kobe wins it for the Lakers! One second, a catch and shoot situation, they, they got confused. They switched. Bryant was able to catch that ball cleanly. Theo Ratliff comes running out. It's a good shot. And the Lakers have won the Pacific Division title.
Yeah, the Kobe stopper didn't stop a damn thing. That man looked like a clown. Which brings us to number five. The time Kobe had a shot so ridiculous, it left the world laughing. See, back in 2010, Kobe was taking on the Suns in the Western Conference Finals. One more win would eliminate Phoenix. So in the final seconds of game six, with the Lakers up five, Kobe got the ball and hit the dagger. Just walking the ball across. Very nonchalant, trying to use the clock, but you have to get across that midcourt line. Shot clock out of five. Bryant. Yes. And that was a little tough to Albert Gentry. That insult to injury, Kobe. I mean, what a shot. I mean, you can't defend that. Are you kidding me? You can't defend that, Barb. I mean, it means Grand Hill is all over Kobe Bryant. Watch him hang, double pump, and then he says, Alvin, hey, Alvin, what do you think about that? What can you say about Kobe? <laughs> I don't know if there's words to, you know, you almost, I mean, there's an intense game going on and you almost have to laugh at what he does, you know, I mean, just, I thought we played great defense on him and uh, he just made tough shot after tough shot. Not only did this shot send Kobe to the finals, but it also led to his fifth ring. That's legendary, man. But well, you know what's more legendary than that? Subscribing to the channel. So what are you doing? Subscribe. But anyways, we gotta take it back to the play that started it all. Number four, the most iconic assist in NBA history. Portland has three timeouts left. The Lakers have two. Bryant. Kobe's alley-oop sealed the win for LA, sending the Lakers to the NBA Finals, where Kobe won his first of three straight rings. This man Kobe is one of one. But look, man, we've reached the top three. So from this point on, the plays aren't just iconic, they're goaded. And to get things started, we've got the greatest achievement of Kobe's life. See, back in 2004, the US men's basketball team suffered one of the worst losses in Olympic history losing their first gold medal in 16 years. So when the 2008 Olympics rolled around, they were ready for revenge. And despite already having players like LeBron, Wade, and Melo, they still needed one more piece. So they hit up Kobe Bryant, and he answered the call. And before the Olympics started, Kobe told the world, winning a gold medal is more important than an NBA title. So with one goal in mind, Kobe went off bringing Team USA to the gold medal game, where he sealed the win with one shot. Out of penetration, kicks it back out to Bryant. Bryant puts up the three. That's good. Kobe Bryant from downtown, and the foul. For all Kobe's done and won, this first of his two Olympic gold medals meant the world to him. Man, it really didn't matter who or where Kobe played. He stayed winning, and he stayed scoring too. Cause at number two, we've got the time that Kobe Bryant dropped 81 points in a single game. With Milwaukee, then down in Houston, he's one of those guys that everybody wants, but nobody keeps. Kobe easily nice through and scores. He's got 10 already down the three with regularity. Kobe trying to handle back for two. Kobe with 21. So the Lakers are not winning that and they've fallen behind even further. Kobe baseline, got it again. Kobe, 30 points. Here's Kobe trying to move around Mo Pete, trying to put him up. Finally shoots, caught it in the foul. Kobe's got 44. Knocked away by Kobe. Great hustle by Kobe. He's going to score. Slam dunk Lakers lead. Well, that's 51 for number eight. Oh, Kobe goes straight to the dribble in the lane, right up and in. Kobe Bryant, he's got 61 points. Five. For three again. Yes! Well, there's 70. Kobe Bryant, 28 for 46 from the field. This would be 18 for 20 from the line. And an 81 point game. God damn. This man Kobe was putting up 2K numbers. It's hard to follow up a performance like that. But we still got number one, the most iconic game of Kobe's career. On April 13th, 2016, Kobe suited up for what would be his last NBA game ever. 
and with the entire world watching, Kobe was going off, because by the fourth quarter, he already dropped 37 points, which already would have been amazing to end on. But this is Kobe we're talking about, all right? So he went full Mamba, hitting contested threes, signature jumpers, and ridiculous layups, till suddenly, he had 22 points in the fourth quarter alone. And with his team up two and 14 seconds left, Kobe stepped up to the line and sealed the deal. I can't believe how fast 20 years went by, man. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Appreciating all this, you know, the journey that we've been on. You know, we've been through our ups and been through our downs. I think the most important part is that we all stayed together throughout. My family, to my family, my wife Vanessa, our daughters Natalia and Gianna, you know, thank you guys for all your sacrifice. You know, for all the hours I spent in the gym working and training. And Vanessa, you holding down the family the way that you have. I, I, I can't, there's no way that I can thank you enough for that. So, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And, uh, what can I say? Mamba out.